What's up, guys? Um, <clears throat> this is my new recording booth for videos where I do voiceover. Just because the sound in here sounds a lot better. It's a lot less uh, echoey. Um, so yeah, this is super overexposed. Or I'm just really shiny. Nope, it's still really overexposed. Okay, um, enjoy the video. Um, oh, subscribe, um, if you like, uh, if you think you're already subscribed, go check that you're subscribed, morons, and my next video will be Scorpion, anyone that cares about the Smash series, next one will be Scorpion, not... Waluigi, he probably won't even be the one after that, so we'll see. It'll probably be, I don't want to spoil anything. It'll be Scorpion next. Uh, yeah. Enjoy. Before we get started, I wanted to go over a couple things, so let's go. I have already designed a couple of legendary designs and have sort of come up with the theme of the games. Of course, I'm not going to be showing off those designs here, but I have one that I really like and one that I kind of like a little bit. Um, and so I have decided that the two games will be called Pokemon Spirit and Pokemon something. Not quite sure what I'm going to call the other one yet. If anyone has any suggestions, that would be great. But I was going for like physical body sort of words and I can't, I just can't seem to find any. So uh, if any of you guys have any, something like that, that would be awesome. Uh, but without further ado, here is the bug type for the region. Every region has a three-stage bug type, sort of towards the beginning, right after the starters. And this one is camouflage-based. All right, so for this guy, uh, I sort of worked backwards on this line. It was kind of weird. I, at least on paper, I worked backwards. And in the actual drawing, I worked backward as well. Um, originally, on paper, this guy was had nothing to do with Caterpie, which is what he sort of ended up being in this. Uh, obviously, it's it's not Caterpie. Uh, he kind of just has the little thing on his head. Uh, that's about it. But originally. He's, ba he's based on the Puss Moth, which you'll see in the name convention on all three of these guys. Uh, and actually all six of the characters in this video. Uh, they're all, their names are all the same in terms of the way that they are made. But yeah, so this guy is based on the Puss Moth, which I'm not convinced that that's what, that's how you pronounce it because... I looked it up as to why they're called that, and, well, uh, let's just say, I don't think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, if you look it up, you'll know why I'm saying that. But, yeah, I'll have to block out that. That just popped up a second ago when I changed windows, because that is the last design, and I used the green from that design here. Uh, so... I I don't have I don't color these guys on paper. I color them on the computer and I kind of just figure out what color I want here live basically uh which can be bad sometimes. I think that happens on one of them. I think it's the next one where I don't, I'm not really sure what color I'm going to do or maybe it's I don't know. I think it's one of the next it's the next 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 one. But, yeah, so he's basically almost done. Uh, I wasn't really sure what color I was going to do, those little things on his face. But they're supposed to be, like, little, little dangly bits. Uh, and so that was kind of hard to do. Also, these eyes, I wasn't sure what color they were going to be. But I just ended up going red. Because I didn't know what to do. Uh, you'll see here, I, I shade like I always do. I need to kind of maybe change my way I shade, but I think it looks nice. I just take the base color, up it, and then lower it on the other 
uh, swatch there, and then I just put light on one side and dark on the other side. And you know, if it's like a roundish object, like these little thingies, then it ends up being, you know, more rounded. Uh, now, the, the way I do it is each color is a separate layer, basically. So all the red is on one layer, and all the yellow is on one layer. And so shading is a little weird, but I think it, it ends up looking all right in the end. Uh, this is my least favorite out of all the designs, I think, today. I think, I think that's correct. Um, and I just don't like it. So, yeah. Here. Oh, wait, I had to fix that. Yep. And then I went back and fixed some of that. But anyway, here he is. Thumbs up. The Camouflage Caterpillar Pokemon. This evolutionary line attempts camouflage, but the thumbs up is not very good at it. To combat this, this Pokemon has a poison gland that when punctured releases a poison mist. This helps when bitten into, but cannot be used on its own. All right. So uh, this guy also was not originally based on the Pokemon that's based on. The original concept was... The, the last evolutionary, uh, li the, the last one in this line was uh, based on a Pokemon and was camouflage and whatever. And I just, I had to do that Pokemon like that. And I had already done these two and I really liked the designs for these two, but I did, so I didn't want to really change them. But I, I thought about it and I was like, well, they really need to be, you know, the same, right? So I based, I changed them basically while I was drawing them on the computer. Uh, and this guy, originally those branches looked a lot more like real tree branches. Um, and I originally was like, I'm going to change that completely and just put like a little wrap around burrito kind of thing around it, which is why I had that on there uh, and just sort of erased it and drew around it. Uh, cause that was my original idea, but I ended up changing it back to semi, you know, more realistic looking, but not a hundred percent. Uh, and I don't, you can't see it in the actual video, but I, I switch over to a Google tab to, to look at Sudowoodo because I based him off Sudowoodo and added his little, little tree hands Sudowoodo has. By the way, Sudowoodo is a rock type. Didn't know that. <laughs> if you didn't know that and that ruined your day, I am very, I do apologize because that, that ruined my day when I found that out. He's a rock type. But, uh, yeah, th this guy was pretty easy. My, I didn't originally have it to where they were different colors, the like the inside and the actual tree part. But it kind of needed it. The, it needed a different color there. Because it was kind of hard to tell where that stopped and where the actual head part started. and So that was really hard to do. Also, uh, technically I drew the eyes wrong when we get... Or I colored them in wrong. <laughs> I colored it in where... The lights on the top, so it makes the eyes look like they're bulging out, kind of like an Ewok, but it was meant to look like they were inward, like they were hollow. So I think I might have to change that, fix that. Uh, but you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. Uh, the yellow spots, I thought about not doing because they don't look good, but I, I think it helps break up the, the color there. Uh, I think I do multiple passes with the shading here because it is it was quite it was quite difficult to do the shading. I think I go over it one more time. I think I might be wrong though. Cause this goes way faster than what I actually did. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. I think I do, but you can't tell in the video. It's so sped up. Um Yeah, I think that's about all I got. Oh, uh, the shading for these is not good. I don't like the shading I did for that. It looks really bad. Uh but you can't really tell zoomed out. Looks fine zoomed out. Yeah, okay, here we go. The eyes, the eyes, do the eyes. Yeah, see, I put the light there. And I think it looks fine, but it's not necessarily what I was going for. Um, But it looks fine. And Gabmrow, the camouflage cocoon Pokemon. Gabmrow has a better camouflage than its predecessor. However, there are no more Sudowoodo in this region, making their disguise impractical. This might have been a good thing, though, because this evolved their outer shell to be a hard wooden protection. All right, the finale, the finale, 
Uh, this guy originally had a completely different pose. Um, and I, that is how I drew the hands on paper. And it, I end up changing that later because it just looks so bad. Uh, but originally this guy was facing the camera with its wings spread out, uh, like it was going to attack you, but it was just sitting there all nice. Oh, also its eyes used to be hearts, but I changed that too. Um, I might go back and change it back to the hearts. I don't know. I'd have to see it because I didn't even attempt it here, but yeah. So I, this is the first guy I drew out of the set, except for the next three, which I drew first. Um, well, no, that's not true at all. The next three I did after I did this guy, because this guy gave me the inspiration for the other one. Basically, I was learning, uh, I was in class and I, I saw, I learned about this, uh, it's a moth that has, like, snake, uh, look-alike wings, so they, it looks like a snake, their wings look like snakes, so I was like, I gotta do that, I gotta do that for my thing, my Pokemon thing, and so I did, so I used Ekans, uh, and I was looking at reference for this, and basically just drew exactly what he looks like on the Pokédex um, website. But, you know, not 100%, and it's like a slightly different angle, so it's angled a little different, because it's not straight on the camera, that sort of deal. Uh, it's actually pretty hard to do, because I didn't want to make it look exactly like the one on there, because it's not supposed to be the one exactly on there. But, uh, yeah, the tail was the hardest part, because I hate this little rattle thing. I just ate it so much, which is the inspiration for the, the little antenna on the top of its head. Um, the original idea was that the wings went, like, you know, up the back. You know how, like, actual wings do? And that the, the tail would go up, and the antenna would just sort of be there. So it would be a little bit more realistic, unless, like, there's two rattles there. But I ended up not doing that, mainly because I forgot. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, maybe I'll do another version of this that has it like that uh we'll see but yeah i drew the other one uh i didn't copy it uh i think some people thought i did on instagram by the way go follow that instagram you get to see these like a couple days early a couple weeks early depending on if i'm procrastinating or not um yeah yeah i do i drew i draw these hands like a million different times i think this is the last one last time i draw it i redraw that hand though uh, yeah, and I recolor the, the hands as well, um, I'm not going to explain the color, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to explain it, you can guess, or you can wait, because the, the next one will explain, well, actually, the Pokedex entry will explain, yeah, well, sort of, the Pokedex entry doesn't explain it, 100%, but, yeah, so I, 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 the original idea was not blue. The original idea was I was going to do it purple. And I was like, I don't really like... It. Like, every bug type is green and purple and and yellow. And I was like, ah, let, let's let's ditch the purple. Let's do something else. Um, now, the shiny is still purple. And there is still some purple on this design. But I was like, I, let's do something else. Every single bug Pokemon is the same. Uh, so we went... I went and changed that. So it's not completely different yet. Uh, it's still got the, the rattle and the, there's a yellow stripe. Yeah, there it is. Still got all that. Um, So, you know, whatever. Pain in the mouth there. Uh, the I try to get the mouth right. Ekin's mouth is so weird, dude. It's just so bizarre. Um, but if you remember, the first stage of this evolutionary line has an ink sack, and so that, or a, not an ink sack, a poison sack. So that is inside of there somewhere. You'll get to see that. Also, oh, yeah, lighting those wings, that is weird, because I wanted to make them kind of translucent looking without making them translucent, and I think it ends up looking all right. Uh, I wish I would have drew the color of the other wing on top of the uh, the other one. Just like a, you know, like a faint, opaque-looking thing to make it look nicer. But whatever. 
Uh, yeah, so that's the purple poison goo. Uh, I do change it very soon, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, it goes up the arm. Thumb Salta, the camouflage butterfly Pokemon. While in this region, Ekans does not possess the signature yellow band or rattle, the Thumb Salta evolved their unique form of camouflage while Ekans was adapting to the cold, resulting in a mix of the two forms. All right, Ekans. So this whole line stemmed from that blue Ekans on the, on the butterfly idea. And so I used way too thick of lines for this one. I need to just go over it with thinner lines. It would look so much better. Anyway, and I was looking at it, and I, I, I didn't even do Ekans first. I did Arbok first, and because I, I had a really cool idea for Arbok, which you'll see here in a minute. But for Ekans, I was really, I was really troubling. I, I was trying to figure out a pose, because there's not, there's not a whole lot you can do with a snake, which is why I tried to do it with the snake. Uh, so I, I basically all I did, I, I end up uh, making his head ice here, and then I his rattle... I turn into an ice, like a, like a like a little prickly ice bit, uh, and I redraw it here because it looks terrible. Uh, th this one just looks bad because I used really thick lines. I need to go back and f just go over it with thin lines. That's all it needs, really, because um, I think it's a good pose. I might need to change the tail and just the whole just the whole tail, but other than that, I think it's a f it's fine. It's just, it doesn't look good because it's not in the Pokemon style. It doesn't necessarily look bad. Just the Pokemon style has way thinner lines. And this whole line, I think, has really thick lines, which kind of sucks. But, yeah. So this one was fun because, uh, oh yeah, because I'm an idiot. But also because I don't work with blue a lot. And I really like it. I really like blue. I just don't work with it a lot. And then also, um... I don't do ice very much either, but doing the ice here was, was actually pretty fun. I don't, I've never lit ice. Uh, so that was weird. Doing that side was also weird. I don't know if that actually ends up looking good or not. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but the rest of it looks good. Not necessarily on this design, uh, but the other two ices, especially the last one, uh, the, the last one looks really good with the ice. So, yeah. Um, so that's all. That's all I really got. Oh, uh, the eyes. I think I went with purple eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're normally yellow. Normal Ekans is yellow, but I went. I went with the the poiple because I wanted to allude to the poison type, which he does not have. This stage does not have poison, and neither does the second stage. Um, but yeah, and I think I did what most people do when they give a third, a third stage to the Ekans line, which is, uh, well, you'll, you'll just have to wait. The, the name I should say is, is probably what most people would come up with is, is of, as the third in the backwards scheme, which is all the characters in this video, like I said, have that backwards name scheme. So, uh, yeah. Wow, I suck on this. I, I did this one on the background, which means I had to go back and get rid of all of that. Oh, it's so painful to watch. Because I also can't get rid of the outline. Because if I get rid of the outline, then it won't look good. Ekans, Kamsuian form. The frozen snake Pokemon. Just like in other regions, Kamsuian Ekans hides in trees at night but its tail is used as camouflage and attack instead of warning and defense. All right, Arbok. Uh, Arbok is probably one of my least favorite Gen 1 Pokemon just because it's a snake. And it's not even correct. Uh, cobras aren't. Their hood is a hood. It's not a belly hood. Uh, so I, I went the ice route, which is where I came up with the ice type for this line. And uh, the idea here is uh, his little rattle has grown, even though in the, the normal uh, line, uh, Ekans line, the rattle goes away with Arbok. I uh, have it grow here because you'll see in the next one why I do that. 
uh, I'd really like him to start drawing the main the main part here. That'd be really cool. Um, so I can start talking about it. Because that part isn't very interesting. I had to redraw that tail like a million times. Uh, but the main, the main part here, you're like, wait, that's weird. Why is his head in the middle there? Usually it's at the top, you know, like, like Arbok. Um, and if he'll ever move on from the head, that ends up looking fine. There we go. He's drawn the first part. The first part. All right. Uh, I'm just going to say it, I guess, because he's not doing it. Uh, I, I end up doing a, um, a little coat, a little fur coat, which it might sound a little weird. S sound a little weird seeing that, uh, hey Drake, thanks for sending me that. <laughs> uh, seeing that, you know, he's a snake, why does he have fur? Um, it's a Pokemon, so shut your mouth. Uh, so I did, I did the snakes before I did the bug. And so if, as you noticed in the bug type one, uh, except for the, the last one, which I did first for the other two bug ones, I did like an outline sort of vague shape, which I don't do. I didn't do before that, but I think I'm going to start doing it because it lets me kind kind of do what I just did on that hood where I drew the like fur texture around it and then I had to go back and erase, which it looked like it probably took like two seconds, but it probably took like five minutes. So that was horrible. Um, again here, I added ice around it like I did. I think it's on the Ekans one. Uh, I think I made his, yeah, I made his eyes purple again. Um, the ice I did better here than I did on the other one, but I'm still not. Still not great at it at this point. Uh, I didn't draw the third one until like a couple of days later. So I didn't necessarily get better at it, but I just, you know, took a rest and, and came back stronger. Which is definitely a real thing. If you don't think that, uh, well, then you're wrong. Uh, you're just wrong. But yeah, I think this one ends up looking pretty good. Especially... Yeah, this one is my favorite out of the three uh, snakes here. I, I would still like to draw over this one again with thinner lines, but yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, this was right after I did my uh, Fortnite submission, which, uh, go check that out. It's uh, on on my Instagram somewhere. It's a couple, a couple weeks to two or three months old or so. Um it did not get selected, but I, I did I did enjoy drawing that, uh, and I and I did a similar fur technique. It looks a lot better on that one, but it also is in my style, and this really is not in my style. Uh, I'm really trying to mimic the Pokemon style in these as as good as I can. I I always forget to lower my my brush, but uh, yeah, there it is. Arbok, Kamsuian form. The woolly snake Pokemon. Typically, its belly is used to scare off prey, but in this region, it uses it to keep warm in the cold environment it inhabits. Alright, Repiv. So Repiv, of course, is Viper backwards. Uh, for the bug type, you'll have to go... Well, no, I, could, I can talk about that. Um, yeah, so it's th Thumbs Up, which is Pus Moth. It's Gabmrau, which is worm, worm bag. That isn't right. Yeah, that, no, that's right. But I think it's bagworm. I didn't do it 100% backwards. And then there's Thomsalta, which is Atlas Moth. So those are fun. Uh, they're sort of supposed to be related in terms of that. Uh, th these teeth give me a hard time. <laughs> uh, this angle is weird. It's like up and to the like tilted right a little bit. It's not the best angle. I had a hard time drawing it on paper uh, as well. But yeah, the those eyes I really like. Uh if you'll draw it, just draw it. It's so slow. This took me several hours. Several hours. Like one hour. But yeah, the the angle of this is weird. I, I'm not super great at drawing this sort of like square rectangle sort of deal. But I think it ends up looking pretty good. And the original design does not have 
the big one that it's sitting on at the bottom. But I, I think I really like it because it, it does give it some, some stability, which it wouldn't really have otherwise. Uh, you know, like Onyx, like Onyx does, which is clearly what this one is inspired by to some degree, is Onyx. Uh, and I based the size and weight of it on the Pokedex off of Onyx. Like, I just basically took it and, like, made them a little heavier because water is heavier than rock sort of deal. Um, but, yeah, he's entirely made of ice, which is why the rattle grows in size on Arbok and then takes him completely over. Um, like I said, the ice on this one I think looks the best out of all of them. The, the little texture that I do. Um, this was also after I started doing my animation which there's a little bit of it on Instagram, but I, I don't think I'm going to post all of it until it's done. Or I, I don't think I'm going to post any more of it at all until it's done, which means I'm going to have to color it and all that. But it, I haven't even worked on it in a couple of days. I haven't worked on a lot of things in a couple of days. I need to do that. But he gets something back soon. Can you guess what? Can you guess? I think I said it already. I think he's getting his poison type. Where is his poison type? Well, I'm adding some purple where uh, there was almost no purple on the other ones, except for in the shinies. Um, and I think I made his eyes ye yellow, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, yeah, so uh, I add a shadow. And my original idea was just kind of, you know, make make it you know darker blue. Uh, in certain spots because uh, I forgot that I was going to make him a poison type and I was like oh wait purple 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 <laughs> and so I took the exact same idea but I did it with uh, purple uh, it took me quite a while to get it right because I wanted to try it I don't know it's kind of weird it, I, I really like how it comes out though this isn't my favorite, but I, I think the, the color is, is really, really cool and my favorite uh, out of all of them. Just for the sheer coolness of uh, how it ends up looking. Uh, oh, yeah, I went with blue. Yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, so anyway, this is Repiv. Repiv, the hairy snake Pokemon. The ice has fully taken over the body of this snake and has regained its poison type. Repiv has also made several small spikes prickling out of the sides of its icy shell. All right, I hope you guys like this video. Um, expect my next Pokemon video in like three months, because uh, I really want to work on the Smash uh, series, and also that animation that I was talking about. It's not a long one. It just takes a long time. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to watch the next video and the next Smash video uh, with Scorpion. Uh, anyway, uh, see you guys. Thanks for watching.